Welcome back to episode 34 of House Brian Reclaiming Britannia and Dynasty of Many Crowns. Now in the last episode, we are currently not in great shape. Our lands are plagued and ravaged by a disease, claiming our father, Emperor Matthew's life with smallpox. Our treasury is low. We just had a civil war. And so we just have to uh, take it day by day, rebuilding our lands and our kingdom. I did change the color to green to match the Irish because Irish dominance. So we just currently have to uh, get our patriarch a positive opinion of us so he contributes to our treasury. And I do need to switch this quickly to court politics to help us a little bit with this sway. Hopefully, if we get this sway, we should be able to uh, form an alliance with this. Oh, he'll accept now. So we'll go ahead and lock that in. And then we'll still try to get that sway in. Would he also... Okay, he is less likely. Current amount of alliances. Okay, so us forming it with France. Intriguing. We'll increase Marshall by one. Take that. And actually, we are going to switch our high, um, our innovation for the Irish culture to get this land grants real quick. Because then we only need one more to get to late medieval. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We still have about 20 years before we can form the next tradition for our Irish culture. And I did mess up by not claiming one of these duchies for ourselves. So we could hold two duchies in Ireland. This duchy did get de jour drift, the duchy of Gwynedd. It is now considered Irish. But it is still culturally Welsh. Court physician. Under our employment, our character is compassionate and just. So I think we're going to have to do it. Unfortunately, we are going to do it because of his character. We're going to go with that one. We do have a new perk now. We're going to have to go with that bottom one. Court physician to have better outcomes. I think we're going to go with this one. Just because of the time that we're in with this uh, disease. It is also apocalyptic as well. Any factions? Okay, the English populist wants to rise up against us. Court politics. Let's go ahead and start bringing Leinster. You're a good daughter. Excellent. And we could also convert London into Irish. But that would take a little longer. But I think it's worth it. Damn, he wasn't swayed. So we're going to stop swaying him and go for our patriarch. So he can help us get a little bit more money. And he can get married. This is getting married real quick. This lady here. Oh, cool. oh, nice. We have a new uh, legacy dynasty legacy perk. Monthly lifestyle stewardship with plus 10 is nice. But because we are going to um, for the dynasty and many crowns, I think this one would be very beneficial to help us increase our prestige. Allow us to bring one more knight to battle. A little bit cheaper for the mercenary cost. Help us with our court grandeur and give us one more accoladed knight. So I think we're going to go ahead and go with this one. Okay. Little artifacts have low durability. Oh, nice. Who's this? We'll take the 100 gold. And that's right. We do have our prisoners, the rebels. And she's losing a lot of money. I will confess. I guess this was our childhood. But let's go ahead and get her married. Bring in a excellent knight. Okay, yeah. No, she's 16. Let's go 25. There is no excellent... Just this guy here. He will do. He's phenomenal. And this person, let's go ahead and ransom him her and this guy whoa he's an excellent steward let's just go ahead and recruit him we inherited the du okay okay that's the duchy okay nice now we have access to um high medieval let's go ahead oh about seven years okay so let's go ahead and just continue with this man at arms one so we could create this uh duchy title after just destroying it it would get us legitimacy and more prestige which we do need we are over the do domain limit by one we could grant this one away. That way we have this duchy here. And I did make a mistake with this duchy. For some reason. I guess because he was a mayor in England. When I granted him the lands. He remains as a vassal. Of our brother and the king of England. So I did. Oh he's at war. Oh he's pressing his war. And that's another thing. We do need to help our brother. Reclaim these lands. Okay nice. The treasury did go up a little bit. And I think we help him out. Because he only has one land. So I think we got to. Go to war against this character here. He does have... Oh, he's at war. He has a tyranny war. So maybe if we let that one go off. Let his treasury deplete, uh, deplete a little bit while our treasury increases. And then let's go ahead. Are we... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and put her back on main, managed domain so we get the full benefits here. An excellent idea. There are no six... Oh, man. 
we get prestige. I mean, we get stress. We need to manage our stress already. Every county, because we're compassionate. And what is this one? Well, if we need to change this, let's get this battle axe right here. And see, we are going down the learning lifestyle path. So let's go ahead and see which ones would be best. This one is more prestige. You have something that belongs to me, the stag antler. Sure, we'll grant it to him. This one will give us more diplomacy. Which one is super low? Okay, someone in our court died. How much would it be for this one? 150. Yeah, we're not going to do that one right now. Prestige, stress gain, bejeweled scriptures. How much would that one? 75. I say we just go for that one for now. And let's fill in a new steward. Oh, catchers. Superstitious violence of my people continue to spread along with Matthew's pox like a sickness of the mind following the sickness of the flesh. Now, my usual courtly duties are interrupted by a group of gruff, gruff poachers entering my court. My emperor has come to my, the attention of my associates here that you have a bit of a dog problem. It is common knowledge that the dogs are disgusting creatures surrounded by bad air and filth. We're men of the people and we are willing to hunt down every last one of those monsters until the plague disappears. I have unforeseen consequences. We get stressed because we're compassionate and just. Yeah, that one's the bottom one. And our best steward is this gentleman here. But because he's not a vassal, we want him to get some more gold. That way he could invest into his land there. And then we need to set our steward to um, control plagues. Try to combat this. Nice. Matthew's plague is gone. But there is another one here that broke out just recently. Month. Ooh, what's this? Oh. We will be dragged into war here though. No, we're not going to do it. We are bringing in 20 gold, which is pretty good. Oh, that's right. We have another accolated knight. So let's see what we can do here. It would just be him. Cameliers. We don't have any. Ooh, for pikemen. Our sister got that. Excellent. Let's see this bottom gentleman. Now he's only has 12. Except. Alrighty. Faction. Eight months. Okay. The sway did go for our pope. Is he? How much is he giving us? Look at that. We're losing out on 12 gold a month. So we need to uh, continue to sway him. And be, let's convert. Let's start converting London into Irish. Hopefully he doesn't convert to English. Let's speed this up a little bit. And let's go ahead and actually... How is this war going? Okay, we're going to let that one play out. He has a powerful alliance in Burgundy. So we will not do that one yet. We could go to war here. He's not pressing the attack. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll bring him into... We'll, we'll declare war here. Oh, she's willing to accept vassalage, actually. Not under normal, though. Only under religious. So we're going to go ahead and declare war on the Duchy of Cornwall. 80 prestige. That way we can boost some of our legitimacy as well. And then let's go ahead. Oh, it automatically granted us another one of... Okay. Oh, well. I guess that's fine. And then we'll just solely raise up these men-at-arms, our trained army. And have them go to war here. Get all of our um, acclimated knights some glory, prestige gain. Nice, our wife is pregnant. It's a close battle, but our knights are too good. We have six months. Okay, so because we are learning, we're going to go after the poet. And we did get the trade journal. And then what's up with... Uh, okay, we have three months before the English populist pop up. He's at war. Oh, wow. He's attacking the Duke to expand into Lancaster. This is a House Brian member as well. Hopefully she wins. Okay, the first battle is popping off and they're... Oh, they're just going to lose. But she does have allies on the way. Where is she at though? So the English populists have risen up. So we will go there very shortly. After we finish this siege. And here they are over here. It's quite a bit of them that rose up. Okay, nice. We have two months there before that one goes up. Enforce our demands. Oh, we don't get any any legitimacy. Let's see if we get any prestige. No. Okay. Now let's send them over here. Oh, here's your army. Why is Wessex at war? Ooh, he's pressing his claim. Okay. Okay, let's check these out. Okay, nice. Our patriarch was swayed. All of these lands are under siege. No, we gotta send them here. Get some uh, more glory gain for our knights. Okay, he's an excellent commander, but he's not a good fighter. And this guy is a great fighter, but not an excellent commander, and he's a little bit evil. Nice, we have a daughter. We'll name her after her player heir, and it does seem... Oh, let's get her to be a insular. And we do have people 
in our court that needs to be assigned looks like it's all the same how oh yeah it's all of them okay so we'll go here what faith is he oh he's catholic yeah and then her and then their last one there all right oh wait so where's the rest of the english populace oh they're up north okay so let's send our men up north they are sieging our brother's lands hopefully we get there in time and then let's go ahead and raise up some levies just to support them once they get a little bit closer we do have another perk let's go scientific and here they are how much time do they have oh it looks like the king of uh, our brother is going to join us for that battle let's just raise up just a couple more levies let's close this one disband and just raise them up and once they get a couple hundred or once they get level with our main army there we go now let's send them there and have them join in that battle crime cannot go unpunished Ooh, we're gonna get there in time oh we got there just in time right, nice 20 knights okay the english populist war is over oh the gaelic catholic okay nice okay so this one we get legitimacy and this guy's an excellent fighter and a knight so we're gonna instead of ransoming him oh we can't recruit him that's kind of whack if we get a weak hook on him maybe then we can recruit him no we can't damn so it's probably just gonna pop up again okay there's another one yeah okay and now we have to grant let's give you her conversion and then this war should end once he becomes part of her vassal nice okay she'll see follows oh we just have to grant him the vassal grant vassal oh because they're at war damn the court grandeur has decreased no we're not gonna isolate we should be fine so we have 600 gold we could go to war against norway now faction popped off yeah okay so he is ready to pop off again yeah i should have i'm gonna have to execute him it's unfortunate we can't recruit him it's, yeah this will be a prime time to go to war against them oh wait he's already fighting oh that's for his own claim so let's go to let's go to war against uh, norway for our lands here get some more gold for our brother oh actually we can go to war here first get our brother this county here let's go straight for his capital okay and now let's see what glory rank they're at too so nice he has a successor he doesn't have a successor there's three months there Ooh, ransom her he has a son just name him that now we need to raise a couple levies actually i guess we don't we could wait oh they're sieging our damn i don't think we will get there in time 18 days let's abandon this get some more glory gain for our knights that way uh we don't risk our brother getting thrown in jail so let's go ahead and ah damn okay we'll raise them up here we'll raise all the armies and we'll send uh just what we need let's get them going now it's gonna be close combine them seven days yeah okay is he the best knight available yeah he's our best knight available all right we should win that battle very close they have more knights but it's pretty even it's a very even battle but i guess we're gonna pull it off because our knights are doing more damage and our units are better trained. It was a very close battle. So now let's go. Oh, we gotta go here now. We'll station them there. We get prestige with that choice there. So let's go ahead and do that one. Check the factions. We have our own pox now. Damn. All right, that's good. Sheesh. Okay, let's set. Um, uh, yeah, she's already on play control plagues. And this war is over. So now disband them. And then let's go ahead and grant our brother this one here. Now we do have a thousand gold in our treasury. He's in debt. Let's go ahead and siege all these lands. And we need to get this land as well. Stag handler. I'm sh yeah, that's fine. We have a lot of artifacts. We can grant them away. And we need... Oh, okay, nice. So he is going from now. Okay, clutch. And we do need this land because of Canterbury, the religious site, or the insular faith that we get more of uh, a stewardship i believe or we get more sway scheme power so that's gonna come in clutch and as well as all the religious vassals getting a small opinion boost of us and not ex risk upsetting the uh we lose stress here every realm gets plague resistance for 10 years but minus 15 percent holding taxes I, I, i'm gonna risk it yeah look at that 15 percent only dropped it barely it's it's now Okay, how much is he um gold is he giving us now okay it's at the max that's clutch 
So now we can go ahead and start swaying somebody else. Receive him into our court. We accept the generous gifts. Thank you. Oh, nice. We were close to getting the next level of Dynasty Splendor. And now House Brian is, or at least I mean, this Dynasty here. We should probably change it to the House Brian Dynasty. Because that Dynasty is no more. Yeah, let's go ahead and change it. Let's change it to House Brian. Or just Brian. And then um, get this. Copy to Clipboard. And we'll change the house house moto there as well. And then let's paste. And now our uh, dynasty is the same as um, our house. Okay, let's check this out. Yeah, we'll do that. Some people. Uh, inspiration project, adventure. Legendary and renowned. Yeah, we'll definitely sponsor him. 136 gold. Go ahead and do that. And then we have this here. Maternal reproach. Yes, mama, I will fix it. Set your court fashion amenities to decent fashion. This is no way for an emperor to present himself. At this rate, you will be a laughingstock of all Britannia. Yes, we'll fix it. We'll listen to our mom. Our mum. We'll listen to our mum. Okay. Okay, our court grandeur level increased. Now, we do have a thousand gold. Let's go ahead and invest into our... Damn. Let's go ahead and invest here. Make our heavy infantry a little bit more uh, stronger. Do more damage. Now that it did significantly cut into our treasury. Inspiration funded. Something truly unique. I trust your instinct. And let's go ahead and get some more gold as well. And here we can get a completely new building. Well, okay, we have our archers here. Partner maintenance. Archer may be pretty clutch. And then we can get another gold one. Where we'll swap out this cattle pastures with this windmills. Yeah, let's go ahead and boost up our archers. Where was it at? Yeah, on the third level, we get archer damage plus 20. Yeah, so our archers, our crossbowmen are going to be absolutely beast. With time, with time. Okay, let's check this faction out before we go to war. Two months, okay. All right. And did we start convert? Yeah, okay. Nice. So it's only four years left for London to become uh, um, Irish. Let's continue to, let's do that one two years. Boost up London. Artifacts have low durability. Restore accolade decision. We could vassalize him. We want that land for our brother. Plan cultivation. Let's get a. Uh, we don't need that one right now, actually. Let's go ahead and get this one. Towards this one. We'll go. Wait, what's faithful? Just clergy opinion. Let's go down a little bit more down this tree right here. Nice. We get 150 prestige from our wife. Uh, a little unconvincing. So he wants this one. We're not going to give him that one. Okay, so now we have a populist one. Let's go ahead and deal with that. Let's raise up our troops just a little closer. Over here. Raise up our trained men. And send them to finish that. Nice. So that's what's clutch with that. Once we get the mental break. And um, we can, if we have the athletic or the journal trait. We can easily take care of that. Disband. Now I think this guy. Yeah, we can recruit him. He's an excellent fighter. Commander. He might die in battle though. Let's go ahead and uh, recruit him though. Who knows? He might become an accoladed knight. Nah. Okay, we get some cavalry. Whatever it takes to make this well again. Who are you? King of Poland. Can we form an alliance with you? I know we have familial... Uh, no. Our vassal here. Come on. He is our direct vassal in Antiquane. Okay. Oh, he slept with his sister. We'll go with, uh, we'll go with this one right here. Because we're just. And let's go ahead and invite knights. We have a physician. We have a wet nurse. First one has arrived and this guy is phenomenal. Let's go ahead and recruit him. Let's get him married to this lady here. Low chance would want somebody a little bit better. This lady, medium. Faction is disbanded. Let's get ourselves an antiquarian. Who is this guy? Dang, he's pretty good. We'll go ahead and recruit him as well. Oh, that was the second knight. Let's go see who that is. Outstanding commander. Okay, this is our daughter. Let's make her, we're learning, so we'll go down the learning path. 49, okay. And no. Yeah, this guy's good. We're 42 gold. We'll go ahead and do that. And he's a good commander, but not a knight. But maybe we'll see uh, for 38. Yeah, we'll go for 38. And then we'll see what kind of uh, alliance invalidated. Damn. So let's invite him to our court. Ah. And she followed him. Let's say we can fight for his claim in Poland. I can see this is truly heartfelt. Nice. So our stress is going down without us even having to deal with it. So it says... Alright. 
Okay, what do we have down here? We can commission a new artifact. I think let's write our thoughts down. We lose some more stress. And let's commission an artifact. Do we have any more space for the wall? I don't think we do. For the royal. Oh yeah, we do. We have one more space. So let's go ahead and commission one more royal artifact. Wall hanging. A fine tapestry. Or a banner. Let's go to tapestry. And then soon we shall go to war against Norway. Oh, that's right. We were supposed to be raising him up. We'll become his guardian. See if he's willing. Yeah, he is willing. Okay. All right. Excellent. This is the last night, I believe. Question of loyalty? Nah, nothing to worry about. He's an excellent knight, but not a good commander. Let's just see. Uh, for 31 gold, we shall recruit him as well. Okay, no. But let's go ahead and find him a spouse. We can get a, an alliance with the duchy here. Oh, with the queen. It, yep, that's... Yep, we'll do that. Because remember, with these uh, succession kingdoms, with the voting, we want house members on the duchies. It would give us better chances for them to be elected eventually to the kingship. Go with that lady. Our sister, if she becomes our friend, she, she might come to our court. No, she's still too far away. But maybe she'll find her way here. Oh wait, no, that's not her. In Finland, it's still too far. Okay. Okay, the factions have disbanded. We could um, get one more level for crown authority. Wet nurse. Let's go with the wet nurse. Let's let him do his job there. Get that one. Court tutor. We'll have our sister be our court tutor. And then who do we need to... Uh... Yeah, the only ones holding out is Wessex. Essex, Wales, and Norway. We want to wait for this powerful alliance to go away. But we could go to war here. Oh, they're fighting for their independence. And they are winning. So we might as well just wait. And then we'll have to go to war there. So he gets temperate. Just... We'll have him be a... Uh, if he gets just, I think he gets stewardship as well. So because he's a steward, let's have him be just. So then I guess in the meantime, we... Ah, uh, damn. How much would that be? It's 25,000. That's a big war. Nice. Send him my regards. We could still go to war against Norway. Nice. Look at that. That's excellent. What? That looks like a cage of a throne, though. One of a kind. Nah. Let's go see what this... Obtain a mythological rarity artifact from an adventurer inspiration. Nice. We have Excalibur. We'll definitely put that one up. And then, let's see. Yeah, this one is way better. We get renown, development growth, court grandeur bonus, and diplomacy and learning, depending on our level of fame, which is currently illustrious. So that's plus three, I believe. Daughter, Beatrice. And because our daughter is our player heir, we got to revote this to our daughter all right how many more uh, months do we have years we have three years okay that broke out there so let's just continue to build in our lands those are developing it'll be pretty expensive here 241 we'll wait on that one we have some factions popping up that's right i forgot we're holding this one now and we don't get the benefit of this because we're not holding actually we would want to change this one anyway new learning lifestyle Let's get open-minded. And these factions... Yeah. We should be fine with those factions. Oh, did she win that war? So let's, uh, let's grant... Oh, we can't grant her a vassal. Nice. So we got a Brian Tapestry. So we have to grant this vassal to him. Oh, wait. Oh, he already has the vassal. He has to grant him. A giant step for a child. A small step for a ruler. Yep. Nice. Our stress is wiped out. We have about 16 months for the high medieval and six years before we can get some more people in our army now norway is losing this independence war so we then could go to independent uh, war for them but they do oh poland holds this now what so we would have to only go to war here they have two duchies here we could grant go to war solely for this county that way oh what's up with this oh man and he's still dealing with that war over there? Oh no, he's at war against Cornwall. But he's already at his his capital. Yeah, he's probably going to lose that. Oh, what? Where the air? The hair? Oh, wow. So we're going to get that land. Or the title, at least. But then we could just grant it away to him. What's up with this? We do need to... Uh, 25 gold? Definitely. And we do have this... Oh, what? what's up with that tapestry? I thought we were able to... Uh, oh, it's only this one displayed now we'd rather go with these three 
Oh, those are small ornaments. Okay. Look at this throne, bro. It looks like a, it's a cage, bro. He's caged up. Show her in at once. Oh, this is our rebelling duke here. Coming to pay us homage. Okay. Yeah, they lost this independence war. So what we could do now is just press our war against her. We get a hook on King Jordan and she becomes a vassal. We're fine with her being a whole vassal. I think we do need to do that. And then we need to convert this county. Where is her vassal at? They're in war already. So we could go to war here. Would it be cheaper to seize it? No, it's the same. Or do we get the, the duchy title? No, okay. So we'll just seize it here. That way we get this whole land further consolidate. But actually, let's we'll see if she's willing to... Not under normal. So yeah, we're going to have to go to war here for this kingdom. Declare war. Now let's go ahead and raise up our troops near the border. It's already there. And let's go ahead and raise these. Oh man, that's too far. I don't want to raise them there. Let's raise them here. And let's raise them. Just one levy though. We don't need two levies. Excellent. And then, uh, so only 14 more months before... Uh, London is Irish. Continue there. He's almost converting that faith. Okay, there. We have enough. Let's send them there to combine them. Oh, we have too many troops here. So let's split this army. Send them there. And we'll keep them there. Alright. Well, here's Kent. Unseaging this land. Actually, we're going to need to battle. So we'll leave everybody who can be left. And we'll send them there. And we'll send them the engage in battle here. And it does appear... Okay. We're going to have to come back this way. Hopefully they can hold off. That's going to be tough. We'll see if we get there in time. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get there in time. Damn. They wiped our army. Our sieging army. This is the uh, patient, shy. Okay, we're going to have to go with impatient. Give them more prestige. So now we have no sieging army. They're retreating. So, just send them there. And, yeah. Okay, we're going to continue th this war in the next episode. We are slowly consolidating. And I we're about to inherit... Oh, he's still winning that war. Oh, that's right, because he no longer controls the, the capital there. So, if, if our brother does lose this war, we do become the king of England. We'll see what happens there. And we'll work on bringing the kingdom of Kent under Britannia's rule and House Brian's rule. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.